Y'all go wash up. It's time for one of my favorite Sunday suppers. We gonna have KFC inspired mashed potato bowls and buddy, I'm so excited. Put your two big old taters in some water with a pinch of salt and bring them to a bowl. Y'all while that's boiling, I got Taylor over here chopping up our chicken into little bite sized pieces and I am going to shred our cheese. We got us about four ounces of Monterey Jack and four ounces of Kobe Jack. Use what you got. We're gonna set our cheeses aside for them taters when they're done. Y'all we got us round about a cup of buttermilk here in a bowl and I'm gonna crack me an egg, check for baby chickens. No baby chicken! Woo. I'm gonna throw that egg in there and I'm just gonna mix that up real good. We'll throw this chicken in here. Yeah. And we're just gonna let it soak for a few minutes. Probably should have done this before we started boiling them taters, but that's okay. What are you gonna do? While that soaks, we're gonna get our dredging stations ready. We got us a cup of flour in this bowl here and we got us two cups of flour in this bowl here. The Colonel famously uses 11 herbs and spices in his chicken but we're using 13. Cause we're extra. Mix that up real good, y'all. And then we got us one more bowl of buttermilk. All right, grab your piece of chicken, put it in your regular flour that ain't seasoned. Now we're gonna dunk it in the regular buttermilk and we're gonna dump it in our spice flour. Y'all, when you got a few up in there, go ahead and transfer them to your oil. But don't crab your pan. Once they get good and golden, you're gonna go ahead and just transfer it right over here to your rack. That's gonna keep them good and crispy. Coming back over to the taters real quick. I've drained them and got them put back in my pan and now I'm gonna fix them up. Four ounces of cream cheese, four tablespoons of butter, got a heaping tablespoon of sour cream, and we're just gonna start mashing that up. I'm gonna hit it with some onion powder and garlic powder. I'm gonna start with just a little salt and then I'm gonna salt them to taste. Try them, salt them, try them, salt them. Y'all, while my last batch of chicken cooks, I'm gonna come over here and make me some brown gravy. I got me about two tablespoons of butter here. I'm gonna take me just a little bit of these drippings over here. A little more than drippings. I'm gonna throw them in my gravy too, just to make it good and flavorful. Y'all, between that butter and them drippings, I use about three or four tablespoons, so I'm gonna put about that much flour in there too. While that gets good and brown, I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic powder and I'm measuring with my heart, y'all. And I'm gonna add me some onion powder too. And y'all, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna throw some white pepper in there. Once that roux gets good and brown, I'm gonna throw us in a little chicken broth. I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. I ain't measuring. You don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna throw in just a little bit of sage just to make it good and hearty. For our corn, we just buttered some up and threw it in the microwave. Cause we ain't Martha Stewart. Work, bitch. All right, let's build our bow. Mmm, mmm, motherfucking mmm. And Viola, tater bow. Y'all, this is the only thing Taylor ever gets at KSC. He loves these damn things. I'm waiting on you patiently, <laughs> not so patiently. For, for once. Can I go? go. Can Hold I go? on, I gotta get a little bit of everything. Mm. I don't eat these so much. Oh, you made me lose mine. Oh, I'm sorry. Mmm. Mm-hmm.